Greetings, people. It is the 5th of April, Friday. It's Van Camp Friday. So that will be a big part of my talk today, is encouraging um, support for the channel because it's Van Camp Friday. But, of course, first, cheers. Hope everyone's doing okay. So, yeah, there's so many people who pass away that I don't keep up. It's hard, you know, as far as, and I don't feel like the need to talk about everyone dying in the music business. Jimmy um, Hastings, um, saxophonist who's played with everyone from Caravan to Soft Machine to you name it, Cam Camel, everyone. He passed away. Jerry Conway, drummer who's played with everyone, including Fairport Convention. I just, long list, he passed away. <clears throat> the latest one I heard was last night, and I'll show it because very important drummer. Keith LeBlanc died. Uh, he was the drummer on Grand, um, Grandmaster Flash's uh, The Message, I believe. I mean, so many things. I mean, it's like his... CV is, I think he's got over 700 credits, but I have this by here, Major Malfunction. He was also in Tackhead, and I have Tackhead. I like Tackhead. Funky drummer, very powerful, strong. I have these two albums of his, Stronger Than Fiction. I listened to both last night after hearing about his death, which bummed me out. I don't think it was that, that old. They're the kind of records that you don't listen to. They're 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 time capsules. Um, I listened to both of those last night all the way through, and they're back from the days when sampling was new and when people were using um, uh, spoken word um, passages for um, vocal uh, vocals a lot. And so it was it was fun. Some pieces actually. The first piece on side two here was impressive. It was almost Sakamoto Yellow Magic Orchestra like. That stood out. That'll get played again. But rest in peace, everyone who has passed and is a, who we haven't heard about, because that's also the case. People pass and then they wait to tell you. So, going to the um, questions here. Derek, do you have any albums by Moondog? Oh, yeah, I sure do. I have two. No, no, I have three. Maybe, no, I think I have four. I'm not going to grab them right now because I want to focus on Bandcamp Friday and show some of my some of my discography, if you'll stick with me for that. And then Barris Will says, my older videos have such good stuff. Thank you. Yes, I'm consistent. I'm just the same person. Mm-hmm. Yes, these are strange times, people. And music is a wonderful capsule, time capsule. It is. So, let me talk about my music. I need to. I keep reflecting back to how someone recently said to me how it's unusual for a musician to speak so little about his own music. Well, I need to talk about my music today. So the, the, the main titles that I keep showing you that are for sale are these. But I'm going to show you some more of my discography. Interlude CD. This is really good. I just sold one. Dave Newhouse of the Muffins is guest musician on this on this album, as well as guest musicians Blake DeForest and James Quato Ballerin. Excuse me, my collaboration with instrument maker Brian Day. Just sold another one of these. These are almost gone. Woven Territories. Get one before they're gone. Because I'm going to show you more of the CDs that I put out that are gone. And the Muse. As I've been comparing myself to Andre 3000's New Blue Sun. This is better. This is the real deal. This is not pretend. This is real. 
ambient experimental space jazz as well. I showed you that I had ear sculpture CDs one and two. I have one left because I sold yeah, I've only got one left. I've got one left of each, okay? I sold one of the... I had two ear sculpture ones. Sold one to Alessandro. So I have one left of these. These are not listed on Bandcamp. You can ask for them in a in an email. DerekVaughn at gmail.com. I'll leave it in the... Uh, the um, description box and then one more life after X soundtrack and ver the, the door those I have left for sale but besides those I, I thought I'd endeavor to show some of the other records um, I've shown um, the vinyl at different times but here's a pile and I know this is I think this is most of them. These are more CDs that I'm on. There's a couple of repeats there, but let me show. Because I keep forgetting to show there's another CD. The World is Burning. I'll forget to show that. And that's available through Randy in Pittsburgh. Okay. But here's some more um, releases that I put out. So <clears throat> Murphy, I put out limited edition on vinyl. That's been sold out forever, but I made a, a limited run CD of it, CDR. And uh, this is a good one. This one is also one that was a collaboration with the VC. Jeff McLennan up in Canada let me use the, his photograph for the back. Murphy. There's a limited, I made a limited run of flyover on CD. Some of you have the, uh, the album, excuse me, but there's actually a CD too. Oh, this is, this is the master. I, I do have one where, um, it's manufactured. That's the master. Excuse me. And then this one came out. I made a limited edition of this one, a hundred, and then it sold, and I made another hundred, and then they're gone. Sound Waves, the one that also has a t-shirt that goes with it. This one I'm really proud of because I do um, a song, a piece of music that was inspired by the band Mew. It uses a, a melody of theirs, and I sent it to Jonas Bier of Mew saying, you know, um, I got this from you, you know. Can I put it out? You know, do you want credit? And he says, he said, no, he gave me his blessings. It's, I titled the song Mew. And he says, no, you've taken it and done your own thing with it. So this is another release of mine on CD. Uh, someone, uh, actually, John asked me, uh, the one who sent me the Andre 3000, asked me about this CD, 2020. I put this out at the beginning of um, 2020, and then COVID hit. I was planning to promote this all year, and then COVID hit, and it just sold out, like, right away. You know, I don't have any of these. I don't think I have an extra copy for myself. Um... I think about reordering these sometimes, but you know, you end up sitting with a lot of copies. I don't know if I if I if I hear enough chatter from people of interest about these things, I'll consider um, redoing them. Okay, so here's one where it's actually available on cassette. This is the first thing that I'm on by David Nats group. This is before it was called Mode Sound. This is a live um, performance, September 20, 2020, the year of COVID. This is out on cassette, but I have a um, probably the only copy on CD. 
Song Raiders out of Mexico. I don't have a, I don't have a an official copy of this Phonaustica. When they did this, it was digital at first, but I see where they've actually had physical CDs made up. I sent them a message. I haven't heard back from them, but I'm, I'm on this. I'm on this Song Raiders. Here's one where I um, collaborated with a sound artist, Charles Goff III. Some of you might have heard of Charles Goff III. Eccentric guy <clears throat> from Kansas. He makes, his, he makes all of his releases like this. This one was called The Elements of Stylus. Um, and, you know, there on the cover, that's one of my uh, releases. Um, that's, um, yeah, this is cool how he did this. That's my artwork. It's not a release, it's my artwork that he used. And mocked them up as though they're records in record bins. But these are collages of mine on the cover. Both of those, had, now there's a, as I look at it, these two. Charles Goff III. Here's the band Scudder. The guys that, I, I ended up quitting this band because as I, as time went on, it became obvious that all three members of the band, unfortunately, were Trump supporters. And I just, I can't believe this. I love you guys. I have a lot of history with you guys, but this is ridiculous. But Tough as Nails, that's another release. Still available somehow, but not through me. And then here, this is the this is the uh, record I've shown the the vinyl where the VC helped me to get it pressed on vinyl. Derek number three. This is kind of the beginning of a saga. Even though I'd made records before this, this was um. Yeah, this is the beginning of a the self release. Well, not really. It was like a, a new vinyl community supported um, era for me. And um, I don't remember how many of these I made. Maybe a hundred. They've been long gone. If you, if you've seen these. Yep. Here is my mock-up of the um, Catherine Wheel cover compilation, Too Much Is Not Enough. It was never commercially released, just archived. So, of course, I went ahead and made my own CD copy. I'm on disc number four. This came out at the end of last year. Jerry um, King, who I've spoken about, guitar player who plays uh, with Dave Newhouse. Jazz. Zad Jazz from the 23rd century. It's a compilation. Double CD with some cool people on it. I'm honored to be a part of this. I mean, some of the other folks on here are Amanda Chaudhary, Amy, Den Amy Denio, Elliot Sharp, um, uh, Ron Anderson, Leandro Kalin, Paul Sears, Henry Kaiser. Um, it means a lot to me to be at the point where I'm involved in projects like this and my music is included. Dream come true. And this is the one that this led to that. Frets of Yore. Good luck finding a copy of this. Real neat project. Everyone from Fred Frith of Henry Cow to me. And Carla Duratz. Dave Newhouse. All the cool... I'm being silly now. This, is, this was such a cool project to be a part of. I'm so proud of it. I don't know if you can find a copy of this. Frets of Yore. A collection of guitar, guitar pieces for the immediate past. This is a local punk type band. Hand Painted Police Car. Um, Dan Stewart, who's also an RAF, this is his band. And he's had me in pastiches of well-known um, punk covers. Bad Religion. This is their... Hell, how could we be any worse? I play keyboards on this. Then here's 
Never mind our little cocks, hand-painted police car, pastiche of sex pistols. All keyboards by me. These are available. I don't have them for sale. Musician who stopped making music and became a, a, a magician. He's out of Seattle, moved from Omaha to Seattle. But before he did, John Friedman, Jonathan Friedman made this, this album called Seattle. And I play all over it. That's something that was available through CD Baby. I never liked that com company. And then my girl Egypt, I haven't heard from her. She moved to Jamaica. I hope she, I think she moved back to the States. She made it, tried to make a run of it down there. Got signed to Top Gong, Bob Marley's label, but nothing really happened. Phoenix Rising. I produced, wrote, and produced three tracks on here for her. We performed live. Digital sex. So I have to show. I keep forgetting. I have this digital sex CD available for sale. It's not on Bandcamp, so you have to ask or send me an email inquiry that you'd like to buy this. But the original digital sex CD that came out out of France is this one, Essence and Charm, limited edition, numbered. This is available through the label in France. Very proud of that. And then there's my copy of Essence and Rarities. You know, I talk about Dave Newhouse and the, the Muffins. Great American Canterbury influenced progressive band. Since the band is is no more, Dave had a project for several years called Mana Mirage, and I play on two of the. There's four of them. I play on two of them. Autobiography with Sean Rickman on drums, and I'm on this one, Rest of the World, with Sean Rickman on drums. These are feathers in my cap to me that I was asked to play because the Muffins are among my favorites. I've talked about this recently, Coyote Bones, Gentlemen on the Rocks. This is kind of like a um, Saddle Creek all-star CD. It's got everyone from The Faint, Bright Eyes, um, uh, Azure Ray, and myself, and more. Um, now it's Overhead. People like that are on here. I'm on here. And RAF, we have, it's on vinyl as well as CD. Here's a, I don't need a sealed one in there. I've talked about Tom Ware, Out of Bounds. Michael Lee Perkins, who is out on tour now doing a Jeff Beck um, tribute with um, some major players. I'm on a track with Mike Perkins on this album, Tom Ware, Out of Bounds. Might be hard to find a copy of this. Sun Ambulance, I've talked about these guys on Saddle Creek. Toured Europe with this band. This is available both on LP and CD. Highly recommend this. This is really good. Scott Severin and the Milton Burlesque. Scott Severin is a New Yorker who as a teenager worked for Harry Chapin, was a, a regular at the Mud Club in New York during the heyday of punk, um, ran drugs for David Johansson and the New York Dolls. This is stuff that he's talked about publicly. I, I do hand claps on this his album, Birdhouse Obligato. This I don't think you can find, Atomic Breathing. I have it on vinyl, and then there is a short run of CDs. I've never seen one except the one that I have. My first solo album, and this is the original version that came out in the year 2001. 2001. I made a limited run of 300 of these, yes. And then I did a deal with... Um, not Barnes and Nobles, but the other um, book place. I forget the name of it. And they lost them. Derek, too. 
I just, like I said, I just sold. I have one left. I don't, one left sealed. Now I don't think I want to sell it. And this is the other one I keep forgetting to mention that is for sale through Bandcamp. The World is Burning. It's a compilation of stuff put out by Randy's Alternative Music out of Pittsburgh. I'm really proud of this. And here I am, there I am with Randy when he came to Omaha to meet me years ago. Real proud of this stuff, folks. Anything else? Yeah. I just realized there's more than what I have or I'm not going to go get them. And I'm not going to bother to show you um, all the vinyl flyover country. I sold the last one of these. I had one more of these that just sold. These are long gone. Tensegrity. I made a real limited run of these. And that's my label, DBH Recordings. And then this came out with a magazine, Music Works. A piece of music that I made um, based on the sound of a bridge, literally. The sound of a bridge. Project I did with this artist, Di Mainstone. That's who you see on the CD. And then this is my personal copy. It's only digital, but I, I, I printed it up to have one. Greg Eklund, from the, formerly of the band Everclear, lived here in Omaha for a while. We became really good friends. And we made this one single, Follow Me. That's me, Greg, and his son, his younger son, who also participated in the recording. So those are more of the recordings that I'm on besides the ones that I am encouraging folks to buy right now. And I hope you don't mind me saying it, but I would really appreciate your support. Someone sent an amount not ask, not buying any music. They just sent um, an amount to, to Derek Vaughn at gmail.com through PayPal. Thank you. You can do that if you just like to support the channel and you don't want to buy any music. I see one of the sales that I sold, got this morning, is from someone who's bought before. I'm, I would assume this person's going to give them away as gifts. Thank you. Folks, it's already tw 22 minutes. There's so much more I could talk about. But uh, of needs, I need to focus on Bandcamp Friday. Please show your support, not just to me, but to other artists. Okay? And have a good day.